So today I'm talking about a P0431 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0431 code? Well, it's a warm up catalyst efficiency below threshold bank two. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture. And then the second thing they do is they also monitor the catalytic converter. And when the catalytic converter falls below a 95% efficiency, and it's going to report this to the computer, which is then going to give a P0431 code. And what are some possible causes? Well, it could be an exhaust leak, could be a bad sensor, could be a bad catalytic converter, and possibly an engine problem. Although usually when it's an engine problem, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, like a misfire code or something like that, then be sure to pay attention to that. And V6 or V8 engines are going to have two banks. Bank 1 is always inside of the engine with the number 1 cylinder, and then the opposite of that is bank 2. So if you find the number 1 cylinder, that's going to be bank 1, and then the opposite of that is bank 2. And the first thing to check when you get this code is to check the exhaust for any leaks. Since if there's any leaks, it could throw those sensors off. So the first thing to go and do is check the exhaust, be sure there's no holes in it. Check out the connections where the flanges bolt together and things like this. There's gaskets inside of here, and if they blow out, then it could cause a leak and it could throw those sensors off. But the first thing to go and do is to go check the exhaust and be sure there's no leaks going on. And so if there's no leaks and there's no engine codes or anything like that, then either these oxygen sensors have failed or the catalytic converter itself has failed. So there's a few different ways you go about troubleshooting this. You could test the sensors and see if they've gone bad, or you could test the catalytic converter and see if they've gone bad. One thing about these O2 sensors is be sure to check the wiring because anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So be sure to check that out. I made a video on how you go about testing these O2 sensors. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link down in the description below. There's a few ways you could go about checking them. You could check them with an OBD2 scan tool. You, you could check them with a multimeter. And like I said, I'll put a link down below if you want to test the O2 sensors. There's also a few different ways you could test the catalytic converter. A very common symptom when a catalytic converter starts to fail is that it gets clogged up and the air can't flow through it very well. And when this happens, the engine will have less power. So if you are getting less power inside of the engine, the vehicle just doesn't have power like it used to. You go to step on the gas and it just doesn't go very well. Then you might have a clogged up catalytic converter. A common method that mechanics will use when this happens is that they'll bust these bolts loose right before the catalytic converter. They'll open this up like a quarter inch or so. And then they'll drive the vehicle around the block. And then if the vehicle has more power, then they'll know that it's got a clogged up catalytic converter. You can also use a low cost temperature gun because when a catalytic converter gets clogged up, the air is going to get hotter before the catalytic converter instead of after the catalytic converter. And so basically you use a temp gun and you measure the temperature before it goes in and you measure the temperature after it goes in. And the temperature should be hotter going out. It should be like 50 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit hotter going out of the catalytic converter than going in. If the air is hotter going before the catalytic converter, then very likely it's clogged up and needs to be replaced. When a catalytic converter gets clogged up, you can buy some cleaner and see if you can unclog it and blow it out. There's some different types of cleaner like this CataClean. This is a popular option. I'll put a link down below if you need to check it out. But basically what you do is you put this in the gas tank and then you take the vehicle out on the freeway and you drive it for like 50 miles or so and you, and you really try to blow out this catalytic converter. And then you clear the code and see if it comes back. They can work. The results can vary. It just depends on how badly the catalytic converter is clogged up. But it is an option that many people do. But either way, if that catalytic converter is clogged up, it'll either have to be unclogged or replaced. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0431 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.